to show you today how to crop your photos for your website and why this is really important to do. I think a lot of times when people are using WordPress on their websites, it's really easy to just get in the habit of taking their pictures right from their camera and just uploading them directly to their website. And that can get to be a really big problem. Um, because the photos that are coming out of your camera are pretty large um, and they're, they're lots of pixels, they're a big file size, and so that can really um, bog things down on your website. So um, usually what happens when you go and you put a picture into your website, you can specify the size in WordPress. And what WordPress does is it automatically crops your picture down to the closest size and it makes a smaller version of your size. And so that's what's happening here. This photo is actually cropped by WordPress to this size and it's a smaller size. But if we go back and look at the original file, so here is where that picture was uploaded to the gallery. This photo is still actually 4,000 by 3,000 pixels and two megabytes. Now that is huge and that's going to really slow down the loading time of your website if that's being displayed anywhere. And it's also going to take up a lot of space on your server. And so anytime you try to do a backup of your website, it's gonna to get to be gigabytes large and that's just way too big to be trying to back up regularly. So what you should do is you should never upload a file this big into your website because you're never gonna need that big of a file for to display on your website. You're usually only gonna display something that's you know maybe 800 pixels wide or so. If you're using something that's gonna take up the full width of the screen, the maximum it would be would be 1900 pixels wide. And it definitely is not going to be two megabytes big. So what you, the, the easiest thing to do before you upload any pictures to your website is to use PicMonkey to crop it first. And so you'll just go to PicMonkey and grab one of your images and you're going to say edit and then you're going to open that image. Once it's all open, go to resize and we want to make sure to keep the proportions the same. And that just means you're not going to be, you know, skewing the image at all. And then you're just going to pick the size that you think is going to fit best. So if we take a look at this one. You know, this is gonna be on a post that is only about, like this is only about 600 pixels wide, this entire width. So this actual image is only about 250 pixels wide. So we really don't need it to be 2346. We can say that that is 250. And because we clicked the keep proportions, it's automatically gonna fill in that second dimension for us. And so now look how much smaller that is. And we can say apply. And now it's made that crop, it's made that adjustment to make it smaller and then we'll click save and now we can save it and it'll give us some quality options. Now if you look down at the bottom, it's always going to tell you what the file size will be for each of the quality options. So if we click the Roger button, it's going to have a smaller file size and as we go up, it's going to have a larger file size. A good rule of thumb is to try and keep your pictures about a hundred kilobytes or less. Now, if you um, have a little bit bigger image, if it's if it's you know like a, a thousand pixels wide or six hundred pixels wide, you could go above a hundred kilobytes. But generally speaking, you know you don't ever want to have something that's anything above five hundred kilobytes. So so aim for about a hundred. If you have to go a little bit bigger than that, there are exceptions to that. So you can pick the quality setting and still keep it under 100 kilobytes and then just say save and save it back. Um, we'll just call it cropped. It's actually just resized, it's not cropped. Um, and then you've got that saved, then you can go in and add that to your media library and plop that in your post. But that's just some basics about how to crop your images before you put them up on your website. Um, you definitely don't want to put up a full size image, even if you're letting WordPress automatically crop it for you by choosing the size, you're still storing that large file on your server and that's just taking up way too much space. So definitely take the time to resize your images before putting them on your website.